Hey, what is up, fellow critics? Arno here, back at it with another reaction for you guys. So today we're gonna to be checking out Carnival Row, season two, episode one. And boy, I've been waiting for this show to come back for a very long time. I did season one, so make sure you check that out. Link will be in the description. And oh, such a good show, very underrated show, sleeper hit show. Not many people were talking about. But man, I loved this show. Great first season all the way throughout. Freaking crazy twists and turns as we go through. And then a, a ending where it's like, oh man, what are they going to do next? I can't wait. What the hell? And then I waited a long time. Uh, I think they had some production issues with the pandemic and all that. And it kind of just, you know, messed things up. But man, I'm super pumped to check out this Carter Row season two, even though this is going to be the only season, there's no more. I think the show's done. Hopefully there's an ending to it, um, but hopefully we'll see. But man, I'm pumped. So let's go ahead and start. So before we start, actually, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see this full length reaction, check us out on Patreon. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. Oh, doing tag team. <laughs> yeah, they put the the wire so they can't fly out. I bet you feels good, huh? They get a good fly. <laughs> Don't let them wings spread. Your uncle boss. Oh, look at this special guy. Special treat for you tonight, <laughs> Uncle Boss. Wouldn't be fair to make them fight a copper all by themselves now, would it? Oh hell. Uh, yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> that is not fair. Fight or fly. Oh. Fight. 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 Oh, you missed. Oh, they got him. Okay. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be saying names. Oh. Damn. Yeah, he's gonna have trouble. <laughs> Kick him in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> okay. A little bit of fey kung fu. What is that? Medicine. There's more over here. Take as much as you can carry. Oh, it's medicine. Nice. Crit cunt. Kick him in the face. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Agreed. No kidding. Uh, what about the dude you threw in the water? <laughs> you hope he can swim. Oh, yeah. Once you got him down, it'd be hard for him to get up. Hit him. Oh, <laughs> that is a wrap. Where's the one person who bet on him? Not one person. So it looks like they do have a plan for something. They're working on something. Yeah, he might be, uh, might need a nap. No, I actually probably shouldn't nap. <laughs> Passed out. <laughs> yep. Rat burger, anyone? Let me get mine well done. That's so crazy that they put the whole top covered in barbed wire. Yeah, you know, this is going to be a thing. Let's say everyone's can't go anywhere. We can't go in and out. People are going to get sick. We're meant to fly, not wallow in the shite like a bunch of leggers. <laughs> Damn. You're saving your presence. <laughs> It's a small mercy this sickness only touches your people. It's like if they don't have that room, they get sick. It's some kind of disease from being out and and like just it's dirty there. Like it's gross and you know, they they need the space. You got worse. Look at you. I got what I was after. Pretty bad. Darius knew what you were doing for him. I owe him. Oh. It's for Darius. He's 
Is he trying to get him out? I could do with a bath. Now? <laughs> I was not going to say anything. Oh, more than me. Oh, yeah, they both need it. Economic slump worsens. Oh, okay. Oh, people not paying their rent. Not paying that rent. You have to take your stuff. So I'm wondering what's called. Maybe from them locking down the row, is, is that causing the, you know, the uh, economy to go in the ground? Killed Absalom and piety breaks fit. That guillotine is high tech. These rich extremists took my mother and father from me. They took your chancellor. And now they're using that to push the agenda of what they're doing is okay. Did they kill your mother? I was impressed. She was a loving wife and mother who so never harmed. Naming him for killing his mother. <laughs> From within and without. Hey, tell them about that. Thank you, bastard. Oh, buddy. That was vicious. Wow. And like, it sucks because like, obviously he doesn't feel that way towards, you know, the critch, like, because obviously he'd be, you know, he'd be doing his thing, but obviously probably Sophie's pushing all this and uh, yes, he's going to play the game. It would boost morale. I'd wonder if this was all a ruse of yours to get me to the row so I could see the conditions there for myself <laughs> and perhaps even be moved to change my mind. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no that's not what i was thinking conditions are bad but you know what would happen though the condition would be so bad that some kind of plague will start and then eventually it will come over and destroy the whole every everything what happened don't tell me they no don't tell me they did what i thought they did yeah jeez that's so that's wild man have got any complaints you can go and talk to him about it oh damn. <laughs> that is messed up man you know what's gonna happen they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna fight they're gonna fight politics is a man's job oh the mewling brat will probably be glad to go back to playing with her dollies oh i don't know you want to mess with her man i don't know if you want to mess with her my party will challenge my leadership and so will yours. Perhaps they ought to. I never asked for any of this. You just want to go to. You want to go back to the brothel. All right, so at least Jonah's not fully gone to the dark side. Oh, thank you. Still love all the costumes, man. So great. Outing yourself, Philo, is suicidally foolish. It's deranged. It Actually, it might work. There's a state banquet in honor of the Pact Ambassador. One <gasps> tomorrow. Whoa. The worst time to say it, but it's the worst and best time to say it. Man, they're really going to shake things up if this comes out in the open. Is her soul still in there? What? No way. Oh, what is that? What the hell just happened? So she's seen a vision through, uh, I forgot her name. She's seen a vision that some creature and Philo is trying to kill it and trying to go after her. I don't know, but that's wild. You deserve it. Me, Bagnall. Dolly would never allow it. Well, like I said, she's not here. Is that like leader? Nos. Go behind my back again and I'll clip your wine, she like cut. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> oh, she's about to make it she's about to make it good. Ah! Oh. oh. Stepping on toes. Yes, yeah, stepping on toes. In case you forgot, I can read you like a book. So tell me what's wrong or I'm gonna worry. I'm not the one rubbing trains, so maybe you should focus up worrying on yourself. Oh. Oh. Diggy. Digs. 
Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. What? Uh. What's going on? <laughs> Is she being possessed? <laughs> so she's getting visions. Oh, look like freaking oh, gross. Oh, damn. Turn the cat into a freaking bowl of spaghettios. So Tourmaline's getting visions from the apothecary. That's who she was about a monster. She's seen through the eyes of a, a monster. So is it another, um, I forgot what they called it. Another possessed monster. Someone's doing a, doing that again. Oh, buddy. He was stationed on a supply train and got robbed last night. No. You think a pigs did this? They didn't do it. Take this critch back where he belongs. Oh. Come on, let's go. This dude, man, I don't like him. I have a feeling he's going to die before the season's over. Ezra? <gasps> the next enchanted ride. Oh. Jeez. Uh. Oh. Is double dream right, dear sister. double dream oh double dream i don't want to be spoiled well i want to spoil you <laughs> he said i want to spoil you it girl it's who takes it off me oh man these two are truly in love i grow tired of running my life i've been living in a kind of maze can't we stay at sea a little longer a little longer Ray has always wanted to respect. Like, that was the whole reason why they met. He wanted that respect. Hey, you know, even though I'm a fawn, yo, I'm, I'm I'm paid. I can just be respected. And seems like she's she's tired of all that and she just wanna freaking love her man. Oh, to share yeah. shit out this far. She can make double our speed. Not good. Oh, Oh no, that's warning shots. You better do as they say. All right, that was the first episode. Really good. I'm liking where they're going and uh, you know, what's going on. Uh, first we see, uh, you know, Vignette and she's with the Black Raven. They're doing uh, a run. They're actually attacking a train to uh, get medicine. And while they're doing that, uh, we see um, Philo. We see him fighting and uh, fighting these Two guys and all some big troll rolls out and then he ends up taking all three of them out which is really cool and uh you know he won a, a favor he was like hey i don't want your money uh owe me a favor so i don't know what he's doing but he's definitely have a plan for something uh we see the living conditions of the row and it's really bad you know they're not allowed to go out anywhere we've seen a lot of the fae are getting sick because uh you know i forgot what it was called but uh, you know, they're they're not used to living in these conditions. They you know, they like to fly and get out in the open These tight quarters is just causing them to get sick and uh, That's the reason why they actually are making that supply run attacking that train was to get medicine to help all the sick fae and they're just slowly dying out which is crazy that we're seeing so many fae are dying from this disease that's only affecting them in the row we see jonah and he is doing like this public execution for all these fawns that they're uh you know he's saying hey these are the ones who killed my father and my mother and we can't even find my mother's body and all this stuff and you can see that he's upset about it as he freaking beheads all of them and you know he he's you know he's upset that he has to do this because he knows obviously they didn't kill his parents and we see Sophie, she's there watching on and, and trying to, you know, get him like, hey, you gotta, you gotta do this. You gotta show all this, you know, keep the people riled up, you know, to be upset with the critch and, you know, and we see in that there's a lot of, uh, you know, economic problems going on right now. And I'm not sure if that's connected with them cutting off the row from, you know, anyone entering and leaving. I don't know if that's uh, the reason why, but we see a lot of people losing their houses and stuff like that. So they're having a lot of problems. Um, we see Sophie, her party is trying to uh, take over and trying to get her out of her seat. And 
uh, you know, even on Jonah's side, they're trying to actually eventually get him out of his seat. And he's he's like kind of OK with it. It seems like he really doesn't want to do this. You know, he got caught up in the moment. Sophie is trying to pull his strings and like pulling him along saying, hey, you have to do this. You have to do this. And he really doesn't really want to do it. Uh, we see him actually also talking to Millworthy. And Millworthy is actually trying to get him to go to the row, see the conditions to try to convince him like, hey, we need to stop doing this. People are dying. You know, it's really, really bad conditions over there. We see Millworthy actually go visit Philo and he's talking to him. He actually sees all the, the heads of the guys that got their freaking heads cut off. They're on pikes and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, so he's talking to Philo and he was the one who was, they were trying to talk together to get Jonah to come and check out the row. Didn't work. So we see Philo's like, you know what I'm going to do? We're, I'm going to, you know, let the cat out the bag that, hey, you know, I'm Absalom's son and I am, you know, you know, maybe I could be chancellor and Miller is like, yeah, there's no way you'll be chancellor, you know, but even, even if he can't be chancellor, it's, it's going to cause a scandal, which will turn everything upside down over there. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. And we see Mulder is like, at first he was like, nah, we can't do that. But then he was like, oh, wait, hold on. We can. And this is where we do it right at the, uh, so I guess they're going to have some kind of, uh, meeting, uh, you know, with the Berg and the pack. And they're going to do it there. They're going to freaking tell everyone like, hey, Philo, freaking Absalom's son. And he's freaking half breed. And by that, doing it there with the pack there. And that's going to cause serious problems. See, Vignette gets a in a little bit of trouble because um, I guess all the other Fae the, from the Black Raven, uh, they want her to be, I forget what it was called. Maybe that's the head, like head you know, black Raven. And, uh, you, you see that they're, you know, getting this, you know, uh, brand, they're going to brand her and all this stuff. And then right when they're doing it, freaking Dahlia shows up and she's like, Hey, no one told you to do this. Why are you freaking doing this behind my back? And I guess that's giving her power. I'm not hundred percent sure what that means, what they're doing to her, but Dahlia is pretty pissed off about it. So then we see Tourmaline and she's walking around. She's a little upset with Vignette because it seems like Vignette has kind of been uh, ignoring her a little bit and because she, she went through some craziness. So she was out uh, going to where her respects, I believe that's her name, um, her spot. And, uh, you know, so she goes over there where she, you know, her her place and she sees her you know, in the window, which is crazy. She's dead. And then we see she's, you know, she grabs onto the door handle and she gets a vision of some kind of creature coming down and Philo shooting at it. And what the hell's going on? I don't know. But then later on, she runs into her again. And then we see like this, uh, like a freaking fog come out of her mouth. Some freaking smoke comes out of her mouth and goes into Tourmaline's mouth and like possesses her. And then she can see what this freaking monster is seeing and it's killing someone. And then she wakes up and she freaking killed the cat and made some freaking spaghettios out of the cat. So, <laughs> so she is going through some craziness. I don't understand why it's going connected to Tourmaline, but it is. And I don't know what the hell is going on. Is it, uh, like someone's being pissed off about, you know, what's going on in the row. So they, they created that, uh, the, I forgot what it was called, but the, you know, the, the monster that's connected to your person and you can control it. Did someone make another one of those, um, like piety did and I just going to go after, you know, the people I, I don't know, but. Uh, we got another monster around and actually it makes sense because now we see Philo, he gets grabbed up and taking out of the row and he sees his old partner and he's like, Hey, I need your help. And Philo's like, I can't help you, man. I'm part of the row. Now they would, they would hate me. They hate me now. They would hate me even more if I became a snitch because we see, uh, one of the guards that was on that train was killed and tied up and they think probably was the black raven who did it one of the black ravens and 
you know, he's like, hey, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't help you. And uh, him and the, the other guy, uh, I forgot his name, the other inspector, they get into a fight and he gets sent back to the row. Now we get to see my favorite part, my favorite couple, uh, freaking uh, Imogen and Agreas. We see them and they're, uh, you know, on their ship and we see Imogen, she has dreams, dreaming of her brother killing her and uh you know it's crazy obviously you know that was a big thing between her and her brother and uh so they're having problems because they're on the ship the whole time you know agras is not leaving the ship but she can obviously and uh you know he he wants to spoil her he wants to get back out there you know he wants to show that hey i'm 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 just like everyone else you know what i'm saying i'm a rich guy i'm 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 dignified you know and she's like, she don't really care about that. She don't care that her clothes are dirty and he's his clothes are dirty and she don't got fresh clothes. She just want to love him and he wants to spoil her. So it's kind of crazy. And uh, so she got him to like, hey, let's stay on the water just a little bit longer. And he was like, okay, you know what? Anything for you. And right there, they hear something. They go outside and they see our airship and it's freaking from the pact. And which is crazy that they're telling them to follow them and they actually drop some missiles and be like, Hey, we mean business. You better follow us. So, ah, uh, it's crazy. Uh, I'm liking all the storylines that are going on. Um, each for every character, like every character got something going on. I'm loving it. Um, we're seeing the pact involved. So they're going to definitely be a part of the season. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully this season it's uh this is the last season so hopefully they end it correctly give me an ending i don't leave it open because if you know i'm not sure if they knew there was gonna be another season or not but you better end this thing right but man good start good episode i'm really liking it so guys let me know what you thought of carnival row season two episode one let me know in the comments below have you have you missed it it's been a while i missed it i always be telling people about carnival row it's a great show Sleeper hit, man. Tell everyone to they need to watch this show. It's so good. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see this full-length reaction, check us out on Patreon. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>